Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2014, brought to you by Church Tech Arts, your source for everything related to live production in the church. Visit our website at churchtecharts.org. Well, hey, we are here at NAB 2014, looking forward to uh, seeing some great stuff. And as you might expect from Van and I, myself, the first place we came is to an audio manufacturer at the video show. So we're here with our friend Jake Cody of Yamaha. And uh, you guys came out with some new consoles recently. And this is the first time we're seeing the new QL5. So what do we have here? Well, so this is the QL5. It's a brand new console. It's a, think of it as the little brother to CL. It's kind of the, a new addition to the line. So the um, really cool thing about it is that this, it's the same A to D, D to A, same clock, um, all of those components that people have come to love about the CL series, the sound, um, it's the exact same thing in here, the same exact processing. So um, similarities include uh, the same uh, you know, eight stereo premium effects, eight stereo multi-effect processors, which are you know, delays, verbs, and comps. Um, and back to that premium rack, all the, you know, Rupert Neve, uh, you know, the EQ and the compressor and that Pultec and so on. Um, a couple of new things, though, that are pretty cool with this is that it's got Dan Dugan auto mixing built in. You actually get up to 16 channels of it. So um, anytime you're doing any kind of, uh, you know, lots of microphones on stage, you literally just turn it on and it kind of mixes itself. It's amazing. That's very cool. Um, Another really great thing is uh, that it's got a port-to-port -port patching functionality. So what's different about this is that it's got inputs on the back of it, unlike the CL where you use the Rio racks. Um, this can use those racks, but it also has built-in inputs. But let's say that this console's at front of house, and you've got another one or a CL at monitors, um, but your RF is out at front of house. Well, all of those inputs that you've plugged into the back of the console, they actually show up almost like, an, like another rack on the network. So when the CL boots, it sees the QL just as another input rack, and you can pull inputs from that, just like as if it was you know, another rack on the network. So um, it's, it makes things really flexible and really easy to use. Cool, and then uh, you've got two different models, the QL5 and the QL1? QL1. QL1, so uh, what's the kind of, thing? we're standing in front of a QL5 here, obviously. Channel count and bus count and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, so the QL1 is a 16-channel console, expandable up to 32. It's got a 32 by 32 Dante card built into it. It also has two slots so that you can, you can use, uh, you know, if you want to do Waze plugins or uh, Avium or, you know, whatever your uh, monitoring mixing uh, du jour. And um, so it's got, uh, you know, 16 expandable to 32 inputs, uh, 27 outputs, right, 24 plus the stereo and the mono. And the QL5 has 32 channels plus another 32 expandable, so it'll do up to 64 inputs and then the same output structure, 27 outputs. Okay, and then it has some of the premium effects built into it like the CL has. Right, the exact same premium uh, effects, and um, so all those, all those ones that you've come to love, yeah. As well as the uh, iPad mixing, stage mix is available. Correct, yep, stage mix is available, the iPad and the uh, QL editor now, yep. Awesome, and uh, time, uh, pricing and availability. Pricing and availability, so it's shipping now, and pricing retail on the QL5 is uh, 16.5, I think, and on the QL1 it is 8.5. Very good. So, really good looking consoles. A lot of the features of the CL, you got the scribble strips, you've got, um, you know, the touch screen, yeah, which is great. Um, you don't have central logic, but you do have a lot of faders on the surface, so it's going to be really user friendly. Yeah. And it's got that great Yamaha build quality that we all know and love. So, great products. You can check them out at their website. What is the Yamaha website? Uh, YamahaCA.com. All right, check out, see what they have there, get all the specs and all the good details. But these are really good looking consoles, especially for the church that maybe doesn't need or can't quite afford the CL, but you know wants a lot of that feature set. It's here in the QL5, so great job. Cool, all right. thanks guys. Thanks.